towards equality, justice, and effective law enforcement. Yeah. And this was said by the NAACP CEO, Ben Jelly. These false drug policies have been mostly enforced in African American communities, must be stopped and replaced with evidence-based practices that address the root causes of drug use and abuse in America. The resolution will be titled, A Call to End the War on Drugs, Allocate Funding to Investigate Substance Abuse Treatment, Education, and Opportunities in Communities of Color for a Better Tomorrow. This resolution highlights the fact that the United States spends $40 billion each year fighting the drug war and the African American and that African Americans are 13 times more likely to end up in jails for drug related crimes than their white counterparts. Studies show that all race groups abuse drugs at a similar rate, but the number also shows that African Americans, Hispanics, and other people of color are stopped searched, arrested, charged, convicted, and then sent to prison for drug-related crime at a much higher rate. This dual system of drug law enforcement that serves to keep African Americans and other minorities under lock and key in prison must be exposed and eradicated. We, the NAACP, is now calling for drug treatment rather than jail time for offenders. We know that the war on drugs has been a complete failure because in its 40 years, we've been waging this war. Drug use and abuse has not gone down. The only thing we've accomplished is becoming, the only thing we've accomplished is becoming the world's largest incarcerator, sending people with mental health condition issues and things like that to prison and creating systems of racial disparities that rivals Jim Crow policies of the 1960s. Once the NAACP Board of Directors ratifies this resolution in October at its regular board meeting, the NAACP will mobilize to begin campaigning and fighting the war against drugs. Thank you. Thank you, Tasha McMullen. Thank you, Tangelis. NAACP. Thank you, guys.